Hello my beauties, welcome back. Thank you guys for joining me. Today we're doing the Keto Crate unboxing. I just did a BoxyCharm um, video, a BoxyCharm unboxing, and you guys, just a quick update. Those eyeshadows from that eyeshadow palette, the Ease Beauty eyeshadow palette, they definitely stain. So I only had them on my hands for a couple minutes and they definitely like left a mark. So just be careful, just a heads up. But let's get into here. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, Keto Crate is a keto snack monthly subscription. They retail for $39.95. You can get 25% off your first month and they have eight to 12 approximately snacks that are keto friendly. So they have like under five grams of net carbs, which is super awesome because if you're doing keto and for those of you who don't know what keto is, keto is like a lifestyle diet that is no sugar, no carbs or very, very minimal and you focus on protein and fats natural fats and so keto crate definitely helps you with your snacking options when you're on the keto diet so let's jump into it i'm super excited these are some of my favorite videos to do you guys because i get to like taste and snack on all this like delicious keto friendly things and i usually personally when i do and am on keto which i started my keto diet again on the 20th of February. Um, I usually do like a super clean keto. So I try not to like substitute sugars and substitute like other things. I like to just stick with like no carbs, no sugars as much as I can and just do like a healthy natural oils, a lot of protein type of diet. But in the times of despair and the times that I am craving something sweet, something delicious, I will go into my keto crate and pick something delicious to snack on that will like suffice my craving and kind of get me through to continue on this keto diet. So let's jump into it. This is it. It's pretty heavy. It's always like packed to the rim. So let's open it and see Ooh la la, okay, like I said, it's packed to the rim. Do you guys see that? It's like super packed. Usually it will come with some like pamphlets, some coupons, but we are here for the snacks. So this is, oh my goodness, what do I see? Do you guys see that? Whoops. Okay, let's not drop the food, but do you guys see that? What is that? It's like a cheeseburger thing. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to get into here. Okay, 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 enough chit chat. So this is the first thing I'm gonna open because it looks awesome. And these are Snack House Puffs by the Flavor of Cheeseburger. Okay, 110 calories, total sugars, one gram, no added sugars, that's awesome. Let's get into here. Oh, oh my gosh, they smell kind of like a cheeseburger pizza. Okay, and they are like these cute little round um, puffs, like these little tiny balls that look like kind of like um, the Cheeto puffs if they were like little tiny balls. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Those are so yum. You guys, so when I'm on keto, the main things I usually miss are french fries and like chips. Doritos spicy nachos are my favorite chips and oh my goodness these will totally like satisfy my chip hunger oh my gosh I can't stop they're like super crunchy super flavorful mm. oh my gosh yes and I do usually like rate these snacks from 0 to 10 Mm. And I will tell you guys that these are 10 out of 10 for me because I will and I would definitely like repurchase these. Mm. Yum. Okay. Let's move on to the next snacks. Next snacks we have moon cheese, white cheddar, black pepper. And this is a crunchy bite savory fun. See, that's the thing. Like I'm much more of like a savory person than a sweet tooth person. So I, what I miss is like savory snacks, like chips and crackers. And I don't know, just like savory snacks because you can substitute sugar, but can you substitute like the 
carbiness, you know, of like chips or french fries. But there's like more savory snacks in this box, which is like awesome. I am so down for it. And I don't think I did, I don't think there is like a survey of like what kind of snacks you prefer. I think it's just like a mixture of sweet and salty. But this is awesome because I feel like we have more savory snacks in this box. I don't know. So this is what this looks like. So these are like little, um, I don't know. Okay. You know what this reminds me of? Have you ever like done um like a cheese tortilla? Or like if you do like a quesadilla and the cheese kind of gets like extra burnt on the side? That's kind of like the taste that this reminds me of. Like it doesn't have like a burnt taste, but it has that like, you know, like that cooked fried cheese taste that's what it is really good yeah this is another like two thumbs up it says it's all natural it has 180 calories and it has 10 grams of protein so yes definite two thumbs up i would rate this one maybe like a nine and a half out of ten but really delicious okay next we have a chalk zero raspberry dark chocolate rose <gasps> That's so cute. I don't want to open it. I'm not going to open this. This is just so cute. And Zero Chalk, I believe, in one of the previous um, crates, had my favorite, like, white chocolate Reese's chocolates. Oh, I love those things so much. So this might be really good, too, but it is dark chocolate. But I don't want to open it because it's so cute. So let's move on because there are so many more. Ah, okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, Shrewd Keto Dippers Milk Chocolate Coated? Ah, what is this? Is this like a dupe for um the round, uh, what are they called? The round little balls? Whoppers? No, not Whoppers. What are they called? Are they called Whoppers? The little chocolate like little balls that look exactly like this but are not keto friendly. Oh, we must open this. And it says three grams of net carbs. So they're still like keto friendly, which is awesome. Whoppers. No, what are they called? I don't know. So here's a little ball. Let's try it. Okay. Okay. Definitely not as good as the original. And I feel like they do have dark chocolate because, you know, it has to be keto friendly. But they're really, like, flavorful and really delicious. Like, if you're having a sweet tooth craving, mm-hmm, yeah really good i would give these like nine out of ten for sure really um mm -mm -mm. next we have a kiss my keto another dark chocolate bar which i'm not gonna open since i opened the other chocolate ones but this is what it is and i don't eat a lot of dark chocolate but if you are craving something sweet you know dark chocolate is a great substitute when you're on keto next we have simply delish natural chocolate flavor instant pudding what get out of here oh my gosh so it says it contains um cocoa stevia extract extract salt natural flavor vanilla um and starch potato okay well it says that it is only nine grams three percent carbohydrates nine grams i feel like is a lot but you know sugar alcohol four grams so there's not much like added sugar because stevia extract is like a substitute that is so cool and you just mix some milk in it and you have a delicious pudding yum okay okay oh my goodness you guys this is a super coffee protein mct oil zero sugars added 10 grams of protein 200 milligrams of caffeine what sweet and creamy mocha coffee drink oh thank you i wonder if it's any sweet should i open it i should open it should i open it i should open it i'm gonna be super wired i'm already like wired i didn't have my coffee today yet so ooh, it's like steamy okay let's try it oh that is good very strong i usually like my coffee a little bit more like creamy than this but i can always add a little bit of heavy cream to make it more keto 
that is delish and it is like a little bit sweet which is awesome because i've been drinking my coffee literally just like black coffee with heavy cream and that's it because i can't have honey i can't have any creamers any sugar in it so this is like an awesome alternative mm -mm -mm. colombian coffee yum oh my gosh i might look into these because this is pretty yum and i can just like do this on keto zero sugars added total carbs four grams which is pretty decent total sugars one gram not bad at all 80 calories yum and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna drink some and add some heavy cream to make it more keto but this is yum because it's like sweet it's not super sweet but it has like that sweetness that i've been missing from my coffee because i usually like to drink my coffee with a little bit of honey i know it's weird maybe maybe not but i do like my coffee a little bit sweet and <sighs> super coffee it is super coffee for super lady let's go <laughs> okay then we have better than good foods veggie infused protein breakfast puffs cinnamon roll flavor okay i wasn't gonna open much but shoot we must try them so this is what they look like they're like little puff balls let's try it it's cinnamon roll flavor mm. you guys this crate is probably like my favorite crate so far because it has most like foods that are keto but are like still super flavorful these are so good oh my gosh okay wait a minute that's weird they have this really weird aftertaste that's really weird they have like this soapy aftertaste Okay, that's definitely not my favorite. Oh my gosh, and it's lingering. Okay. They were like awesome in the beginning, but the aftertaste is not my favorite. Oh no. I wonder if you just get used to it or if it goes away, but it has like, I don't know. Have you ever like licked a, soap, a bar of soap? That's kind of what the aftertaste is like oh that's not my favorite and i really like like the initial like chocolatey cinnamon roll flavor okay no this is like mm -mm. i will not continue e eating these this is like one out of ten for me ah oh, shoot what a bummer mm -mm. no thank you on those let's move on so i can get this taste out of my mouth so next we have some pork rinds these are fried in sunflower oil black no sea salt and cracked black pepper yum my favorite chips besides the dorito spicy nachos are like black pepper and this is what it looks like oh my gosh it's like half the bag is empty air but i mean like what do you expect little pork rind let's see okay crunchy very flavorful let's wait for like an aftertaste nope just like a regular really nicely seasoned with black pepper um pork rind i will definitely continue eating them next we have a love good fats peanut butter chocolate bar this is 200 calories one bar total carbs 12 grams oh 12 grams that's a lot of carbs i feel like i'm not gonna open this i'm not gonna eat this now it says one gram of sugar but i'm still like always looking for carbs and i feel like 12 grams of carbs is a lot of carbs for just a, like a little granola bar so i'm gonna leave this alone maybe when i really do crave it if i do really crave sugar but i usually will not so i'm not gonna waste my carbs on that one then we have sea salt all natural roasted pecans yum okay let's open these i like nuts i've been eating a lot of like like almond butter and peanut butter and you can do like peanut butter and celery you can do um other things with peanut butter i just really been enjoying it this is what it looks like just like you know no it's pretty good sea salt flavored so they're a little bit salty a little bit savory pretty good mm, i would give it maybe like um 
like an eight out of ten okay we have one more granola bar it says good to go vanilla almond soft baked bar and let's see how many carbs this one has let's see so in comparison of the two um this one has 200 calories this one has 170 calories this one has um two grams of sugar but it has 16 grams of carbs oh my gosh this one has even more carbs than this one okay well i'm not opening these um maybe if i open them i'll give you guys like a rating on the taste test but that's a lot of carbs for me that's a lot of carbs because i tried to stick with like i don't know maybe 20 grams of carbs per day max you know if that so that's a lot of carbs for me and last thing salt and pepper pork stick yum okay i also don't really want to open this i will give you guys like a rating what it was like after i ate it but that's it my favorite for sure would be these three things like we started off like so amazing yum like these i would repurchase these ones are pretty good if you like cheese and these ones are like really yum if you're craving something sweet um pork rinds are also pretty good but these three are definitely my favorite i will let you guys know on the chocolate pudding how it turned out and then on the dark chocolate chocolates but that'd be it for today you guys oh my gosh that was so many things and so many snacks i still have like snacks from my first keto crate from december that i haven't eaten but i mean like they're granola bars and stuff so like they're okay sitting i guess for a little bit and so what did you guys think let me know all your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below i would love to hear from you guys i feel like this is a great box for when you're doing keto and you need like a snack or a craving of something sweet something different this is a great way or if you're sick and tired of some of the foods you're eating this is a great way to kind of like balance it out and try something new and i will mention that like keto has been like the easiest diet for me because i'm not like a super sweet sugary person i lost like 30 pounds the initial time i ever did keto and now i'm trying just to do keto for like a month here and there just to kind of maintain my weight and i just love it because i feel like it altered my eating habits in general so in general i eat less bread less pasta less other things and more like natural clean you know oils and fish and veggies and so like i feel like doing this just made me a better cleaner eater in general so i really enjoy it and with that being said that'd be it for today's video i hope you guys are doing well i am sending you guys lots of love for me to you stay happy stay positive and i will see you guys super soon lots of love bye